Hey guys, and welcome back to Tales of Asperia. Last time I cliffhanged you, because I I always do that. So, last time we didn't know what happened. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Come down here. And, Wonder Chef. Ha ha. Thought I forgot, didn't ya? Well, I did. Until just now. <laughs> Guess you found me. You're pretty good. What you got? Cream stew! Yeah. I'll give you this. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, let's leave. Huh. So, how many friggin' recipes are there? I don't even know. Let's see. I've got... Um... Yeah, see, I have a lot of them, but I don't know how many I need. So, yeah. Eh. Whatever. Let's go. This Blasty is working. Why? This one is fitted with a core. Something's written here. Warp Blastia? Wow, that's cool. So in other words, someone used us to leave Miorzo? It looks that way. Hmm. What could a functional Blastia be doing here? It appears that someone's left the town. Estelle. Where's Estelle? Wait, and where'd that old man go? Huh? You don't think both of them used this? Hmm. The Blasty in our town should have all lost their cores back in ancient times. A core was probably brought in from outside the town. It should require adjustment to function properly, but Estelle's an exception to the rules. If she can interact directly with air, she might also be able to reconstruct air to fit the core's formula. Yeah, yeah, techno babble. But why would she... Elder, could you get everyone to help us search to see if our friends are in town? Hmm, <laughs> very well. Let's look for them too. Okay. They're gone! I never should have left Estelle alone. Maybe I couldn't have done anything, but I should have stayed with her. She was so depressed. You're not responsible for this. Beating yourself up over it won't bring her back. I know. And what happened to Raven? He was acting a little strange. Do you think they're working together? I really doubt they'd both disappear at the same time. But why just the two of them? Don't make me start questioning your loyalties, Raven. Well, I mean, who else would... Who would want them her so badly? It's not like he works for the Knights or anything. He's a guild member. Well, I mean, what does he want with her? He can't do anything with her. If anything, you should be worried that he's going to take her back to Flynn, but he's, Flynn hasn't bothered us in a long time, even though he was a dick the last time we saw him. Anyway, let's see. I think you just need to talk to everybody. Um, let's see. Oh, talk to you, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot how many people we need to talk to here. It's kind of annoying. Do we need to head to the Elder's House? I don't honestly remember. Okay. Go down here, or in here. Uh, search through the village, I can't find her. Okay. Uh, I don't think I need to talk to the kids back there. I don't think they're going to add anything new. Let's see. It's like, what's the point of looking for her in town? The Warp Blastio is activated. Who could have possibly left except those two? So they left. Ugh. Um. Okay. No, not you. I could use some healing items, honestly. I'm gonna buy some real quick. Um. Let's see. Orange gel's gonna pick up a whole bunch of those. Lemon gels. Um. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and sell. I think I've got some armor I can sell. Um, here we go. Wow, lots of armor. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Nothing that anybody can really wear. And I already equipped everybody, so yeah. Now, wait a minute. Didn't I get a whole bunch of knight swords and, like, tribal guards? Yeah, I got a whole bunch of knight swords. I don't need these, so I'm just going to sell them. Um, let's see. Sudragi. Um, Ice Coffin, Estoc. Now, it was one called, um, Tribal Guard. It was one for, uh, Judith, I believe. Oh, no, I must have gone past it. Let's see, Tribal Guard. Ah, here we go, Tribal Guard. Damn, it's worth 3500 bucks. It's not bad. Okay. Anyway, um, you don't really need to worry about selling Night Swords because you 
you can get them really, really easily just by fighting knights. So, yeah. Wait, wait, what? Oh, okay. I think he said something about pouring sauce on their on our friends. Like, wait, what? Why'd you pour sauce on them? That's weird. Oh, here we go. As you thought, the two of them are nowhere to be found. I wonder what could have happened to them. Anyway, let's go back to the surface and look for them. Perhaps the two of them went on a walk? <laughs> a walk that involves leaving the town without saying anything to us? Not a chance. Dramatic Yuri. Well, only the living have the privilege of saying they'll fight to the last breath. And words like conviction and resolve don't mean much to a dead man. Okay. Out. Ah, well, just when things were getting good. Just who are you, anyway? What does the head of the knights want with you? Oh, yeah, I legitimately forgot about that. I can't believe I only just remembered that. I got a bad feeling about this. Hurry, we have to follow them. I understand how you're feeling, but please try to calm down. What? Aren't you worried? Of course I'm worried. That's why we should calm down and think rationally, right? Oh, right, yeah, I see. Uh, I'm sorry. Got it, any ideas? Ah, yes, the Master of Murzo might have some idea. He's an Antilochea, after all. Maybe he felt the flow of air from the Blastia. Did you hear it? Could you tell us where it was? Just a vague direction. To the west. A sea of sand. A town? It's not too clear, but a desert town. I think it's Yormgen. That's the town of the Sands of Kogor, where we met Duke before. Yeah, we know. Let's head there now. You're leaving, then? I am. You don't need to shoulder such a burden. Haven't you suffered enough? Thank you, Elder, but I'm not suffering anymore. Hmm. Heh. <laughs> if you went out of the outside world, he might understand, too. See ya. Guardian of the Truth title. Dragon Boots, or Dragoon Boots, not Dragon Boots. I'm going to go ahead and put... Yeah, see, now the, the city is actually moving. And as you can see, it actually has a mark on the map. And it will actively move around. See, you can actually see it moving away from me now. Like, on the map, I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and equip those boots, because that would be a good thing to do. Uh, oh, wait. Dragoon boots. Here we go. So it gives you a 30 attack and a whole bunch of... Uh, what's it called? You know, boots made from a soft metal used by the Critia tribe. It feels as light as a feather. Cool. So why exactly didn't you have those equipped to begin with? I don't know. Anyway, to Yormgen for some reason. We don't really know why we're going here, but we are. And don't worry, I know this. I know where the reference is, and I will be showing it. Don't you worry about a thing. Um, well, this looks different. Why isn't it green anymore? What's happening? What's going on? It's just a pile of ruins. This didn't just happen in a few days. This is like hundreds of years. Quiet. Someone's here. Duke. This could be our clue about the Rizomata formula. Wh what? What do you mean? How? How could this relate to a formula? It's like, what? That's the dragon from the Weezen of Kados. He's traveling with Duke, huh? I've got questions for that guy, but we have to find Estelle first. They got away. There's no time. This isn't what I would have chosen, but so be it. Alexei, what are you doing here? Ah, looking for the princess? I'm impressed you found your way here. Do you know where Estelle is? What do you think you're doing? Is this your idea of a joke, Commandant? I am at a loss as to how to thank you. Your pitiful sense of justice has allowed me to work with little interruption. Rago and Barbos did serve my purposes, but you... I really must commend your work. You're some of the most talented and foolish performers I've seen. What? However, the time for fooling around is over. It is time for you to exit the stage. So that's it, huh? It was you pulling everybody's strings all this time. Well, I'm not laughing, Alexei. Commandant! <laughs> and yet another fool arrives. Flynn, 
Commandant, how could you? You're the pride of the Imperial Knights. How could you commit treason? This is not treason. I am merely following the path of one who holds true authority. And you just intend to betray the trust of His Highness Yoder? His Highness? Yes. I think he'll be relinquishing his rank soon. This is madness. My lord, all is in readiness. Jaeger! Well done. I am headed for Bactian as planned. I will leave this situation to you. And Yoder's fate as well. Yeah, you bet, my lord. Alexei, wait! Who said you could leave? Stand back. If you try to stop us... Get the hell out of the way! Your princess friend is at the shrine of Bactian as well, you know. What did you say? You'll be too late if you don't hurry! Ugh. Ugh. Go after Alexei and Jaeger. Sir! Yuri, come on! Yuri? Yuri Lowell, give yourself up! The Shrine of Bactian is said to be located on the Hypionian continent. Hypionia, the continent east of Desier. The Egathor Forest is there. Are we actually gonna trust what Jaeger said? If that's where Alexei is headed, then Estelle's gotta be there. We don't have much information, so I guess we'll just have to go check it out. But what about Raven? I'll bet he delivered Estelle to them and then just took off! No, Raven... he wouldn't do that. Well, the facts are that she's been kidnapped and he's nowhere to be seen. I mean, that's only logical, right? It's possible he was captured as well. Well, whatever. Let's get going. Yuri? Yuri. Flynn. A word? Very well. Let's talk over there. And come on over here. And where is it? Ah, here we go. There's writing here, but it can barely be read. Cecile and Frings. Ce <laughs> Cecile loves Frings from Tales of the Abyss. Remember that side quest? How General Cecile and, uh... Oh, was it General Frings as well? You know, they were uh, generals in opposing armies. One was a general of Malkuth, and one was a general of Kimlaska, and they fell in love. So, yeah, that's really cool. Anyway, Dr. Flynn. Just what the hell are you doing? What happened to advancing as a knight and fixing the Empire from within? You've been nothing more than a damn puppet on Alexei's string. Don't you dare tell me that the Dawn and Bellius died for nothing more than that. He was there working alongside you this whole time, Flynn. How could you possibly not know? I'm sorry. Why, though? Did you go along with it because Yoder trusted Alexei? His Highness is not to blame. I had total confidence in Alexei. The responsibility is mine. So your pursuit of the Abathea at Nordopolica was on Alexei's orders, I presume? Yeah. You'd better start talking. Tell me what happened. There's no reason to worry about exposing the Commandant now. The conversion of Heliord into a military installation. The abuse of the residents at Mantek. All of Cumor's activities. The forbidden development of New Blastia? All of these were carried out under the Commandant's... under Alexei's orders. Well, you've grown up to be a model knight. Unquestioned allegiance to your country. That's nice. The Commandant... Alexei was not always this way. You of all people should remember. Those who are just will lead lives of prosperity. That was the ideal Alexei once held dear. That was why I... But all it's done for you is help you lose sight of your original intentions. <clears throat> Not that I have much right to preach to you, after I let them run off with Estelle like that. No, that never would have happened if I hadn't been blind to Alexei's true nature. I had grown far too used to simply obeying orders like a good knight, even when I doubted them. It was my lack of thought that brought this about. Since when is moaning and whining part of a knight's job description? You impudent! No. It is as she says. I must shoulder this responsibility. It is up to me to rescue Lady Estelise. 
Witcher, Sodia. Until then, help Yuri and his friends protect Master Yoder. Whoa, what? I was unable to prevent the Royal Guard from abducting Her Highness. I am duty-bound to correct this wrong by saving her. Captain, what should be done about His Highness? If anything were to happen to him, the Empire... I know. That's why this Brigade is concentrating all our efforts on ensuring his safety. But Captain... Damn it, Flynn. I didn't yell at you to have you turn around and start telling me what to do. Brave Vesperia is going to rescue Estelle. You've got your own things to worry about, you know, like taking care of the little prince and all that. Yuri! Captain, we don't have a moment to spare. We should return to Master Yoder. All right. Yuri, thanks. Same here. Alexei. So he's the one who's been advancing Hermes Blastia technology. Yeah, it's taken a while, but everything points back to him. All right, next stop, the Shrine of Bactian. We're gonna get Estelle and Raven out of there and show Alexei just who he's messing with. Agreed. Yeah. Reunited with everybody. All right, so let's get moving. Oh, payback. Just who does that idiot Commandant think he is? Barbos, Rago, even Jaeger. Alexei was behind all of them. And now he's taken Estelle. I won't let him do this. I am gonna rip him to shreds the moment we get Estelle away from him. He must receive his due punishment. We can't let him get away. He's evil. That's all there is to it. And he will not change. It's time for some payback. Let's do it. I'm so pumped. Let's go. I'm totally not gonna end the video right now. Except I am. So I'll see you next time. Actually, no, wait. No, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to fly to Bactian, and then I'm gonna end the video off. Because I'm a dick. Okay, because I just... I'm gonna forget what to do next if I don't. So, yeah. Um, here's Hyperionia. There's Agathor. So keep flying a little bit east. There it is. It's right here. Oop. Oh, crap. Look over there! <gasps> Heracles! Alexei brought out the big guns, I see. That's the end of Achaea, a stall. Alexei's still trying to get Apatheia, it seems. It looked like it got away, though. Yeah, it looked like it was forced into those ruins. Those ruins definitely appear to be the temple, Bactian. I wonder what Alexei's plotting this time. It doesn't matter what Alexei's planning to do. Right, we're just here to rescue Estelle. But if we get too close like this, we'll end up like a stall. Let's land a little bit away from it and approach on the ground. Okay. Crap, I should have just ended it off. Oh well. I guess I can just do this scene. The Forgotten Shrine, Bactian. Alexei! Jaeger, that useless worm. Can't he even swat a few pesky flies? Give Estelle back! Estelle, come on, wake up! Estelle! No matter. As you can see, the princess's life will fade each time she uses her power. If you care for her, then do not interfere further. <laughs> you bastard! Get up! How long do you plan on lying around? 
Uh, you're Flynn's... What are you doing here? These were the captain's orders. He sent us here when he became aware of Heracles' movements. You should show some gratitude for the captain's foresight. I swear that guy... You tell Flynn we don't need him sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. Our captain hasn't wavered an instant in carrying out his duties since speaking with you. But just look at you, after all the boasting you did. Pitiful. Sorry, but unlike your precious captain, we aren't perfect. Hey, you guys all right? Oh, uh, huh? What are they... Apparently, we had some help. Flynn sent them here. How can someone like you... How can the captain possibly consider someone like you his friend? Our captain is the ideal to which we all aspire. He's the epitome of an Imperial Knight. And yet, for some reason when he's with you, he is not himself. Just like this last time. Whatever. If you're looking for someone to have a heart to heart with, go bug Applehead over here. We don't have time to sit around and play guidance counselor for you. A Applehead? That's it! Sodia! No, don't! Sodia! Listen well, Yuri Lowell. Your very existence is hurting our captain. Stay away from him! She's pretty intense. Um, Flynn also wanted me to give you this message. Take care! Uh, all right. Now we've done everything we came here to do. You're on your own after this. Platoon, fall out! We must hurry to rejoin the brigade! Yuri! All right, let's get after Alexei. We've got to move quickly. Right. If she's forced to use her power, then it'll be too late to save her or fix the air. That bastard! Using her like some kind of tool! He's gonna pay! Come on! We're going, we're going, jeez! Grab this chest, do this skit, and then we're done. If we don't go after Alexei, that Antilochia we saw is gonna wind up in Apatheia. Even from this far away, Astal's wounds look terrible. He might not hold out much longer. I guess not even the Antilochia are a match for Heracles. Maybe that was Alexei's reason for building it in the first place. Naturally. There's no way he'd need something that powerful just to take care of the guilds. Whatever the case, we have to catch Alexei and stop him before it's too late for Astal. Yeah. Well, we're leaving. <laughs> So, yeah, um, that sucks. Oh, hey, Heracles is actually there. That's cool. Anyway, I'm gonna end it off. So, next time, we go in. So, bye.